Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a Love Notes from Your Person reading. This is going to be a message cards only reading, and these are general messages, so just take what works for you and leave the rest behind. If you would like a personal reading to look more specifically into your situation, I offer those for purchase through my Etsy shop. There's a link to my shop in the description box of the video. I've also launched a second channel here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn, where I do readings related to topics other than love and romance, so if you're looking for something a little different from me, that is the place to find it. There's a link to that channel in the description box of the video as well. So as far as this reading is concerned, there are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Astrophylite. Group two is the Blue Calcite. And group three is the Clear Quartz. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you would like to jump ahead. And up next is a close-up photo of the crystals to help you better make your selection. Hi, Group 1. You chose the Astrophylite. So I'm going to be getting three cards from three different decks, and let's see, what does your person want you to know right now from their higher self? Okay, and they say, let's get to know each other better. Things are moving too fast. So if this is somebody who is currently in your world, currently in your reality, they may be catching feelings for you quickly. Um, they are trying to readjust their strategy to more of a measured and practical approach because it feels like wherever you are in your connection with one another, they're already thinking 10 steps ahead um, as far as a long-term plan for commitment, a desire to um, have and experience something more with you in a concrete sense, again, in a long-term sense. Um, and it may be something where kind of like wounds of their past, times where they have led with the heart um, and not really factored in kind of practicalities and, and sort of a more logical approach um, to love and relationships, this feels to be kind of the residue of that, these painful reminders um, of what happens when there's not a solid foundation that is built? Um, what happens when things progress too quickly? Um, and so it feels like it's something that has caused them to sort of pull back into themselves internally, mentally, um, just to sort of strategize where is this connection headed? What needs to take place in order to allow the foundation that we are building with one another time to solidify, um, time to really become something grounded and stable? Uh, so if you're noticing that this person is kind of backing off, putting the brakes on, um, exercising a lot of self-restraint with you. It feels like it's not for a lack of interest. It's in fact the opposite. They're very interested in, in progressing far with you in this situation, but this is almost kind of using those wounds or mistakes of the past as the wisdom to try something different 
to approach this situation with you from a new angle, an unexplored vantage point. They may be really kind of feeling around in the dark with this energy. This could be a very new strategy or approach to matters of the heart. There may be somebody who's kind of like a fool for love, just goes where the heart leads them. Um, and on more than one occasion, this may have led to a lot of wreckage or chaos in their life. And so they feel to be kind of discombobulated and confused in the sense of I'm trying to break the pattern. I'm trying to do something different, but it's new territory here. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly, if this is going to help matters, make matters worse. Um, so it, it feels to be something where if this person is almost kind of brooding or again, kind of pulling their energy back into themselves, um, they're in this sort of state of deep introspection, trying to kind of formulate a plan. Where are we headed in the long term? Um, an intention for forward progress and sort of what steps need to be taken to, to reach that in like a measurable um, and stable fashion. If this is somebody you're uh, in a no contact situation with, this can really speak about a desire to move back towards you and reconnect, rekindle the connection, reconcile. But again, this idea of sort of wounds in the past that they have turned into wisdom, uh, trying to apply some different formula or strategy in terms of dealing with you, trying to rebuild the situation so that you both don't end up kind of right back in the same boat that you were in before with dis distance, discontent, uh, apologies that may be owed, explanations that may be owed. Um, so again, regardless of this is like somebody you're with currently or in a, in a distanced kind of like no contact situation with, there are thoughts about sort of where do we go from here? Not wanting to keep the status quo in place, but to, to instead kind of branch off into new territory. And they also say, my soul recognized yours the first moment I saw you and looked into your eyes. You are my heart's desire. Um, so they really are holding you in very high regard, which it feels like is contributing to the desire to take a measured approach to this connection from this point moving forward. Um, they may be planning and, and wanting to take some kind of big steps. So this can be a discussion about, you know, let's get serious. Let's make a solid commitment with one another. Let's move in or, you know, even something kind of more uh, long term than that. This can be somebody who wants to reemerge out of your, you know, from your past, um, somebody who's had time to think, somebody who's had time to grow and evolve from the person that you were last dealing with. Um, and they're looking back at, at kind of this, the essence of the spark between the two of you and how time has not been able to sort of erode or fade that. It is only in fact enhanced these feelings. Um, and it's the sense of kind of like a window of opportunity or wanting to lead with the best foot forward is sort of the decided or chosen approach in this situation. Um, if they've given you mixed signals before, uh, self-sabotaged or just whatever happened to kind of slow down the progress or, or diminish or compromise your trust um, in them or, or sort of even lead to a no contact situation if you're at a distance from one another. There's a sense of I want to go back to the start and try again with you, but let's take steps forward um, leading with a different series of energies, um, utilizing a different set of tools rather than purely just allowing passion to kind of carry us um, off in unexpected directions without sort of that foundational support, um, you know, for one another and, and kind of cognizance and recognition of wounds, difficulties, shared history that the two of you may have, or even just your own kind of personal uh, ups and downs in, in the realm of life and love. It's, it's all all these factors that they want to to include and incorporate so that the next step taken um, accounts for kind of the full nature and, fa and fabric of who the two of you are in a very broad sense emotionally. And they also say, I have a plan for us, but it will take some time. Can you be patient a little longer? So that's another confirmation of somebody who has kind of gone up into that mental space. They're in their head right now thinking about this, um, considering kind of what's that next step, what needs to happen in order to pivot us beyond the point of disconnect that we are in so that a fresh start is possible. What needs to happen uh, between the two of us so that this uh, connection that we're building with one another is rooted and cemented in solid ground so that we are able to weather whatever storms life may throw at us moving 
forward. Um, and so any kind of like pause or just like a slow and steady kind of Knight of Pentacles energy where there are there are steps taken, but it may just be in the form of consistency. They're consistently showing up energetically. Um, you know, they're consistently kind of showing up in the in the aspect of I'm not going to make promises I can't deliver upon, and yet I'm going to give you my all in whatever way that that appears or manifests or shows up to sort of build trust, build this kind of stability and, and solidity between the two of you gradually and over the course of time. They also say, I'm working on myself. So this could be some element of um, kind of wanting to slow down on the pace and progression of the evolution of the situation moving forward. This can tie into somebody you've been at a, at a distance from in a no contact situation with, uh, sort of planning their approach to, to re-emerge in your life. They're not just wanting to hand you honeyed words or empty promises. It's the sense of, I want to show and prove to you that I am trustworthy, I am reliable, your heart is safe with me. I am wanting to build with you in a progressive um, and substantial and realistic fashion and therefore taking this time to kind of evaluate within, um, you know, what are sort of the unhealed wounds within? What are the wounds within that have been, have been crystallized into a form of wisdom? How can these sort of factors within themselves uh, be utilized in a way that is cooperative with elements within you that they may be aware of or that you still need to get to know about one another? so that you're not moving through this place of we're taking leaps of faith forward, triggering one another, and then everything falls apart. But it's the sense of, um, you know, almost baby steps in this in this situation, followed by kind of these, these leaps and bounds at different periods of time um, to where this isn't just somebody who's wanting to kind of draw this out um, in the most kind of arduous way possible, but it's almost a sense of sort of like little steps forward, uh, followed by these, these kind of surges to the point of, okay, now we need to sort of sit and evaluate how comfortable are we with uh, what has happened, what has developed between the two of us, or if this is somebody at a distance from you in like a no contact situation, this is almost somebody it feels like who has who has a plan, who's taken this time apart to really introspect within if they've been in a projective kind of blaming energy when you were last dealing with them, they've turned that lens inward um, and are really starting to address some things that have been triggered. Um, you may have given them ultimatums, things you pointed out, things you'd mentioned even just sort of in casual conversation with them that had been overlooked in the past, have taken on some sort of new meaning. Um, and, and they're really kind of getting up from a place where they might have just sort of resign themselves to this is the way I am. This is kind of what has happened to me emotionally or in matters of the heart. And therefore, uh, you know, the development of other connections is dependent on accommodating these things within me. Uh, somebody who may have been very kind of unyielding, stubborn, change being a very difficult component for them in their lives. And it feels like in some way, even just sort of shifting that lens to the idea of what can I do to sort of improve myself or get out of my own way, kind of understand more deeply the patterns and cycles that I am, that I am kind of playing out, that I am sort of stuck in, that, that have manifested in, in romantic connections in general or, or in the situation with you. What little adjustments, even if it's just looking at these things, can I embark upon in order to bring something forth substantial that shows the time apart was not in vain? They also say, I can feel your love all around me. So there may be a strong psychic and energetic connection between you and this person, whether they are in your life currently or there's silence and distance between the two of you. There's a sense of the nature of this energetic bond being very unique, something that may have intimidated or confused them before. For some people, it may have almost been a sense of like, is this too good to be true? I need to take a step back and kind of build in a more practical way in order for us to be able to kind of have something stable and solid and substantial and, and kind of real in a mundane 3D sense while this experience between the two of us, energetically speaking, kind of... Um, takes flight in, in unpredictable and unknown directions. And so it's a sense of like if they backed off or even ran from the intensity of these energies in the past, they've now in some way kind of come to a place of acclimating with these things, accepting these things, exploring and questioning these things. Um, for some, they may have even kind of looked into the idea of soulmates or twin flames or soul connections. 
this whole experience with you may have opened the door to spiritual concepts they hadn't ordinarily taken into account or maybe just had kind of a surface level, uh, a precursory knowledge of that they've, they've since deepened their, their understanding of through kind of firsthand experience. And so this kind of, this can kind of equate with some sort of breakthrough, some sort of clarity that they now have that is causing them to appreciate kind of the rarity of what you share, even energetically, um, even remotely, even at a distance. And it's encouraging them to try and take steps back in your direction um, in order to not sort of squander this opportunity or allow this very kind of unique and special situation to, to go unexplored or to fall apart. There's a sense of them really feeling that if they don't take some sort of step to reconcile or if they don't, um, you know, kind of take this more practical approach to building from this point forward um, and they miss an opportunity with you, they miss a chance with you, there's a deep sense of knowing that this may be among kind of their regrets in life, something that they would hold on to um, for the rest of their days. And so there's a concerted effort here to do everything in their power to avoid that being the case. Um, trying to build up the nerve, the stamina, the confidence to move towards you or to continue sort of progressing through the unfolding of this connection come what may, um, because they're understanding kind of the profound, unique, and otherworldly nature of what you share. And they also say, I'm still ashamed of parts of my past. So this is really reinforcing that idea of efforts and attempts on their part to crystallize wounds in love, their own shortcomings in love, uh, inner child wounds, just that whole kind of bucket of darkness that they might be holding within. Um, there's a sense of trying to take personal accountability for that to at least sit with these things, feel those feelings, allow those feelings to kind of be processed, purged, uh, neutralized, or alchemized within them in a variety of ways, all in the interest of, I want to show you the best of me. I want to show you that although, you know, I might not be perfect, that there are still insecurities or things that I don't know how to deal with or that I'm not prepared to deal with or that I'm afraid to look at. At least I've cracked that door open. At least I'm at a place of, of sort of saying, here's all of me. Uh, can we work with this? Can we, can we build together beyond what has happened between us in the past? Or, um, you know, kind of based on sort of what we've created with one another up to this point. Um, it almost feels like you might have reached some sort of juncture or they're recognizing that in order to really give themselves very earnestly to this situation in a long-term sense, it's important for them to start to take personal accountability for, again, kind of those wounds or, or those things that, did, that they wouldn't ordinarily look at within. This connection, you, might really be motivation for them to start to do that. Um, for some people, this is going to relate to kind of more vulnerable discussions if you're still in contact with one another, um, sort of opening up about things, maybe things that happened in childhood, starting to discuss, um, you know, past kind of difficulties in love, just so you have a, a deeper perspective on kind of where this person's at emotionally so that you're able to make the most educated decision for yourself. Is this something I choose to participate with, work with, build on, expand and grow? Um, or is this a situation where, um, you know, I'm, I'm not finding that I align with kind of these elements that exist within this person. So, so there may be also this kind of energy of pulling back into that intellectual space because there could be sort of parts of their past, um, things in love that, that weren't exactly their finest hour. It wasn't exactly the best version of them, but in some way they're, they feel compelled to sort of share that so that everything's out on the table so that there's no mystery so that the two of you are building from a place of total honesty and trust rather than, um, kind of building from a place where there are secrets. And they also say, have you already moved on? So if this is somebody you're in no contact with, somebody from your past, they may be a, doing a little bit of snooping, energetically speaking, trying to sort of um, gauge your receptivity to their reemergence in your life. They may be looking you up on social media, Googling, uh, asking mutual friends, going to all kinds of lengths to try and find out what's going on in your life as part of this kind of larger element of strategy to sort of test the waters before they present themselves, not in an energy of, 
hi, I'm back, let's repeat the same cycle we were in before, but almost this is a new me. Can we build beyond this point? Are you ready, willing, able, available to sort of um, be introduced to kind of this version of myself that I've been working to cultivate? If this is somebody that you're currently in a connection with or, or getting to know or, or talking to or whatever that looks like, um, this is also kind of the sense of I want to shift our dynamic with one another more in the direction of let's build towards something long term. If they had kind of taken their time getting to know you now, these feelings have sort of come online. They, they've opened up within the heart space. It's the sense of I want to make this next sort of pivot in our dynamic with one another meaningful, worthwhile, something that, um, you know, is, is kind of a step in the direction of really kind of building something substantial between the two of us. I don't want to just sort of linger and, and dance around in the energy that we're currently in with one another. Um, I really want to show you the best of me, show you that I'm taking steps, I'm making the effort to um, kind of show up for myself fully and therefore being able to show up for you more completely so that we are able to kind of grow in a simultaneous fashion beyond the current aspect, uh, beyond the current sort of understanding between the two of you. And so even though it's sort of a slow approach, it, it is the understanding, whether it's no contact or um, somebody you're currently dealing with, that it can't just remain at this sort of uh, snail's pace forever. That Knight of Pentacles is going to have to gallop at some particular point in time as opposed to just sort of saunter along. Um, so it fills like and as much as they are kind of taking that slow and steady approach they're also sort of revving their engines for some kind of point where they know it's it's gonna require some sort of drastic uh, move forward something very pronounced very very obvious very unmistakable very direct um, that puts on the table here are my intentions Will you have me? Will you take me back? Can we begin again? Are you interested in, in kind of evolving beyond uh, what we are to one another into, into that next new territory? And they also say, I will wait in the name of love. So more of that energy of somebody who is taking a deliberate ap approach, slow and steady in the situation because they really value you as a person. Uh, they value the time spent together, what you shared, what you built, what you had in the past. Um, if this is someone at a distance, they have definitely seen through a lot of the toxic patterns that played out, um, things on their part, maybe even things on their part that triggered certain uh, almost reactive or, or responsive sort of energies on, on your end, um, where they may have in the past sort of been in the blame game, sort of blame shifting off onto you. It was your fault. I'm, I'm in no way responsible for what's happened. It feels that there's been a turning of the tables in some sort of, in some sort of manner. There, there's been a breakthrough where they've seen through this element of themselves. They're, they're understanding what it was that they've contributed in the past, and there's now kind of this effort to build within themselves, maybe new tools, healthier coping mechanisms, looking at some of this darkness and wounding within, so that when they approach, it's a more self-aware version uh, that can be presented to you, so that it's not just the same person in the same patterns with the same kind of um, attitude about life and love, but that there's evidence of some kind of evolution, so that you really, beyond just what they're saying, through kind of energy, through essence, through action, you're able to see that they've taken this time apart seriously and have really committed themselves to sort of evolving beyond um, wounds and patterns that do not serve kind of their highest good in general, nor the highest good of what can develop in this situation. If this is somebody that you're dealing with currently, again, it's this energy of, I want to take things slow. I, I want to make sure that I touch on all these nerve endings and triggers within me, things that has historically have kind of undermined uh, the beauty and value of connections. Maybe in just at a place in their life of, you know, really kind of wanting to get out of the dating game, wanting to make solid investments in a long-term future very exclusively. And so in order to do that, it's, it's the sense of kind of leaving no stone unturned um, in terms of just self-awareness of kind of, 
whatever that is that might be activated within them, whether it's uh, kind of like an anxious avoidant detachment style, um, you know, whether this is something of, of kind of like mother wounds, father wounds, you know, fear of rejection, lack mentality, all these different things. They're looking at all of that. They're putting words to that. For a lot of people, it feels like they're finding definitions, things that they really resonate with, spiritual concepts, uh, psychological concepts, um, things that, you know, even feel philosophical concepts, some maybe even diving into the field of archetypes to try and explain these things or um, kind of work through and define these things for themselves, uh, different sort of self-help um, things that may be going on, even if it's just sort of passively listening to videos, listening to other people sort of talk and share about these things. It's, it's, it's hitting home, it's getting through on the subconscious level, it's opened their eyes, it's making them think, it's making them kind of see something that was veiled from their perspective before for as far as what they've brought to the table in situations rather than just shifting the blame onto everyone else. This is somebody who's kind of starting to take responsibility in a very broad sense it feels like for their life in general which is also kind of then leading into taking some responsibility for how they've approached you in the in the past, how they've approached you up to this point in time, what you've built with one another, where they're wanting to move this connection towards uh, in the future in a long-term sense and sort of what needs to shift and change within them in order to really be able to feed and contribute positive and constructive energies into what can be built and created rather than bringing in a lot of unchecked darkness that eventually may may undermine or erode uh, the progress between the two of you. They also say, somewhere in time, I will find you and love you again. So more of that energy of long-term plans, um, the essence of I can see you as my forever person. I can see us um, evolving and, and expanding beyond kind of what we are to one another at this point in time. Uh, it feels like you may have awakened a romantic within this person um, to where there's a tenderness here, where in the past they may have really feared the death depth and nature of their own emotions. If this is a no contact situation, that nerve ending could have really been touched upon, which caused them to bolt or do things to sort of kick down the foundation between the two of you. But in the distance, in that space, it's it's almost the sense of whatever's been kind of touched upon or awakened or, or opened within that heart space. They've had time to really process and marinate in all of that. Um, and they've now sort of reached this, this breakthrough, this understanding of I'm tired of running from my feelings. I'm tired of running fr from you. Time and space have not diminished the nature of these feelings, but in fact have only enhanced them. The, the situation, the circumstances, the energies between the two of you, even still in the distance. Um, this is something which it feels like is pushing them and, and sort of accompanying them along some type of spiritual awakening, some type of introspective journey, dark night of the soul, ego death, um, ascension, just all these different kind of things happening. A lot of it feels to be brought on by kind of intellectual pursuits. Overthinking in this sense, it feels like is not a bad thing. In the past, that might have been something that really kind of tangled up and um, complicated matters when the heart was sort of begging them to move towards you. The mind might have kind of tucked away and said, uh, this feels scary, it feels too deep, it, it feels too much like a place where uh, if I keep moving forward, I could expose myself to, to being deeply hurt or shattered and so I'm safer kind of in the comfort zone but it feels like something that as much as they have tried to sort of puzzle out what's happened, what exists still between the two of you, uh, going down various rabbit holes, expanding their mind and their perceptions in, in different sort of ways, that this process, this has been almost kind of that unfolding journey, but rather than something starting from the heart, it's starting from that mental level and has now brought them to the place of, although I am most comfortable taking things slowly, I'm wanting to follow my heart. I am, I'm wanting to shift this circumstance between the two of us into happier times. 
This can also be something that really speaks about a past life connection between the two of you. Um, you know, a recognition here with this energy as well about my soul recognized you the first moment I laid eyes on you. Um, this is all something that they may have been kind of wrestling with within themselves, concepts and questions about the nature of the soul, the nature of life, uh, even kind of past lives in general, things that they hadn't thought about before. All of that could be on the table of consideration as far as an otherworldly or uncanny sort of bond that they feel between the two of you. That even if you're still dealing with this person and they, and they may have sort of they may be taking the slow approach because there's all this other kind of thought process and, and research going on quietly in that internal landscape, in that kind of mental arena. They're now sort of at the place it feels like of there may be a lot of unanswered questions, a lot of mystery, a lot that is veiled, a lot that is uncertain. But the truth, the resounding truth is that they keep being pulled in your direction. Um, they keep being coaxed and encouraged to um, continue to follow this path, to continue to move forward, to not shy away from that curiosity, to not shy away from the intensity of what's what's being revealed, what the questions that still remain, but to really cherish and appreciate what they have found with you, what this situation with you has encouraged or motivated them to find within themselves. Uh, so this could be somebody that's been almost like in hermit mode. Obviously, if they've been at a distance, that would be the case. But even if you've been dealing with them, kind of pulled away, energetically speaking, they found some sort of wisdom in that internal uh, realm and that kind of personal underworld. And so it feels to be something where they're getting ready to emerge from the darkness with some sort of truth or illumination, a revelation about deeper feelings, um, an interest or an intent to, to try and rebuild and, and kind of um, repair the bond between the two of you, opening up more at that emotional level, um, you know, or, or again, kind of like having that deep conversation about, I want to take this um, a step further. I, I see long-term energy between the two of us uh, to really kind of just get those words out on the table so that they can be discussed in the open and the two of you can decide kind of where do we go from here. And they also say, I'm afraid I will lose myself in you. So still a degree of intimidation, which it feels like is totally normal, totally natural as far as um, the nature of what exists between the two of you, what's been going on between the two of you energetically, what's been awakened or cracked open within them. Um, energetically speaking, in the heart space, you may have had like a heart chakra opening or activation. You could have instigated a spiritual awakening within this person. Um, and so there's, there's a degree of caution and fear. I want to dive into this and yet I need to keep my feet on solid ground. Um, so they're trying to almost kind of inch towards you or, um, you know, at least kind of have some sort of strategy in place as far as when I take that step, when I knock on that door, when I, when I reemerge, when I present my personal truth out in the open, this is kind of what I can give. These are the considerations of best case, worst case scenario. Um, these are kind of the variables as far as what I require to feel comfortable and kind of moving forward. But then also a space that it feels like that they have actively created and are contributing to, um, to really wanting to sort of hear what you have to say. What are your, this isn't just someone who wants to come in with a monologue and kind of a take it or leave it attitude. They're, they're preparing themselves or, or sort of bringing themselves into a place where they expect there'll be some sort of discussion. There'll be some sort of compromise. There'll be questions that will need to be answered. There'll be trust that needs to be um, rebuilt or, you know, even kind of expanding beyond sort of the current nature of your connection with one another. If it's somebody you're still dealing with, they're anticipating that, you know, we might progress forward, but at some point in time, there could be wounds, there could be fears, there could be triggers, there could be, you know, things that from our emotional past that are remembered or are deeply embedded within that kind of rise to the surface. And so it feels like they're taking a very broad perspective as far as what they need to be cognizant about themselves in terms of major kind of aspects of, of, personality or, or even kind of uh, their own personal history and experience that do not serve kind of a healthy and reciprocal connection. Um, trying to put these things in check or at least identify them in some sort of manner um, so that they don't kind of just 
you get carried away into a lower vibration when sort of agitated maybe by the um, the pressure and the newness of this experience with you um, and also kind of wanting to make sure that this is not something where um, you know they're giving so much of of themselves or expecting so much out of you in this situation that you're not focused both of you on kind of building a sense of reciprocity. So this feels like somebody who's kind of preparing for a conversation, a back and forth. They're wanting to encourage kind of that rebuttal, that reply, that, that you know, they're sharing their feelings. They're wanting to hear your feelings. They're wanting to kind of co-create a plan and a strategy. Where do we move forward from here? Rather than being just purely in the leadership position or being uh, led along um, through kind of this openness and vulnerability in an emotional sense. This is somebody who who's wanting to experience true reciprocity in matters of the heart, wanting to come back towards you with the sense of, um, you know, I want us to work together rather than having things be all on my terms or, or kind of just, um, you know, providing everything that you were saying was lacking before in certain ways. It's, it's kind of the essence of, can we create compromise? Can we strategize a way forward that works for the two of us in a, in a mutually satisfying way and that helps to contribute to long-term stability in the future. So I'm going to get some initials and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your person or could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got V, U, D, P, N, I, C, D, Z, G, T, C, X, F, E, L and L. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. We chose the blue calcite. So I'm going to be getting three cards from three different decks. And let's see, what does your person want you to know right now from their higher self? Okay, and they say, I pushed you away because I felt smothered and unworthy of your love, kindness, and affection. So if this is a no contact situation, um, it feels like this person is sitting in a lot of nostalgia right now, understanding what they had now that it is gone. They may be considering contacting you or are really not having uh, a very easy time kind of sleeping in the bed that they have made for themselves. That can be sort of even more literal than metaphoric if there had been a third party involved in this situation an ex that they return to, or even just somebody that may have sort of pushed you away saying they weren't available, they weren't looking for love and uh, kind of rebounded and, and ended up in a connection with somebody else, um, something that was less challenging to them emotionally, somebody that may have just kind of let them do whatever they want with no questions asked, um, something where they felt on an egoic level that they were really in charge of the situation rather than kind of building something in a reciprocal manner um, with a with a partner with a significant other um, and it feels like something that could have been very 
tempting and enticing. Maybe this is just the bachelor, bachelorette lifestyle, even um, somebody who is just like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to commit to anyone. I'm not going to fall in love. I'm not going to fall in love again. Um, after a series of kind of like heartbreaks or disappointments, there's a sense here of that decision has um, ceased to kind of have the luster that it once did. That decision is is now weighing very heavily upon them in the sense of they're really missing what the two of you have shared with one another and maybe kind of curious or questing, questing um, as far as can this be salvaged? Can this be rebuilt? Can we move forward from here? And they also say, let's have a nice dinner together and enjoy ourselves afterwards. So they may be thinking back on special time that you spent with one another, um, a desire to almost kind of nourish you in terms of planning some kind of approach back towards you, some sort of reemergence in your life, in your world, and in your reality in order to kind of put some fears to rest, provide some sort of explanation um, in a sense for kind of their past conduct. This can definitely tie into the element of distance that they had once sort of proclaimed that they would needed, uh, maybe even kind of ghosting you or leaving you with a lot of sort of questions, promises made that they, that they fell through uh, on delivering on in a consistent manner or, or sort of even at all. There's this energy of, I want to provide you some sort of explanation. Uh, I want to move towards you in the essence of being a contributing force and factor for good rather than somebody that uh, may have been dealing with like some kind of overinflated ego, um, issues of pride, kind of a mask around some sort of deep sense of lack and vulnerability within that they were kind of overcompensating for with with control issues. There's a sense of almost, I understand now that reciprocity is, is the formula for success, that uh, the route of kind of one-sidedness and, and a need or a hunger for control has, has sort of led to a sense of desolation within them. Um, and when they think of kind of breaking free of these cycles and patterns, their mind and their heart returns to you. There's an understanding that they may be sort of trapped within something, some sort of karmic cycle. Maybe it's even just the element of suffering and silence. And so it kind of feels like something that a motivation or thought process as far as moving back towards you both serves to kind of free them from some entanglement in that sense. Um, the walls kind of crashing down around them or, or a sense of feeling very trapped in a lot of guilt and shame that they've been unable to look at or deal with before about what's happened in the past. Um, a sense of unburdening themselves, speaking this truth, even being very, very honest um, about kind of their fears, their motivations, shadowy energies that they were dealing with before or kind of operating in in some capacity capacity that may have caused them to um, sort of not show you the respect that you deserve, um, that caused them to sort of uh, demonstrate to you kind of the lower vibration uh, of what they are capable of within themselves, rather than kind of putting that best foot forward or showing a more well-roundedness, kind of, these are both the positives and negatives of who I am. Um, can we work with this? Are, are you willing to sort of sustain along with me in this connection, knowing all of this? Instead, it was almost just they showed their darkness and ran, um, which may have been kind of a kind of an instinct or, or a reflex in, in times where they, they may have been on the brink of kind of catching feelings, diving in too deep in the emotional realm, um, instead of admitting sort of vulnerability or, or insecurity in that capacity. This is somebody who may kind of be very lonely and, and so they call in experiences only to sort of push away those in, those opportunities for uh, deep intimacy and, and bond, bondedness that kind of goes beyond just sort of physical chemistry and attraction, um, sort of getting in their own way of wish fulfillment and on a lot of different levels. And it feels like specifically as it pertains to this situation, the history and the circumstances between the two of you, 
they've come to some sort of understanding um, that this, what has occurred kind of fits in that box or, or that situation of things they're not exactly proud of, um, things that still kind of leave a bad taste in their mouth, things that they regret. Um, so they're, they're looking at this situation in the sense of, I would like to contribute something more, but is this too little too late at this point? They also say nothing can break the bond of love between us. All of me loves all of you. Um, so this could have been somebody that was very sort of caught up in the perception of obstacles between the two of you in the past. Um, things that may have kind of reached a point of maybe you're getting ready to meet one another's families and, and they started to have doubts and second thoughts. How are we going to fit into one another's lives? Um, you know, perhaps people in their life had expressed some sort of um, skepticism or, or discontent about, about you, about the situation. And, and they took those people's opinion and, and sort of used Use that as a motivation. Use that as kind of a jumping off point to sort of run from you in the situation. That can tie into this element of like a karmic or third party energy would be almost people pleasing. Um, putting the opinions of friends or family or just even some perception of like how would the world see this? How would we fit into one another's lives? Using that historically as kind of their motivation for conduct with you in the past, but there's a lot of regret associated with that. A sense of that this person is kind of actively working to take back their sovereignty and, and sort of detach themselves from, um, you know, maybe kind of the impact or the influence that community or family or even just sort of uh, seeds of doubt that exists within them, a feeling of like unworthiness as far as love is concerned on some level um, that may have really been that kind of motivation or, or catalyst to sort of um, break this situation apart uh, by running, by by kind of, um, you know, being very unkind or, or ghosting you or just whatever that, whatever those details kind of, kind of look like. There's a sense of this doesn't feel good. What has happened where we are currently, this doesn't feel good. Um, I want to move back into your direction. I want to um, accept you in the same way that you have always accepted me for, for both the good, the bad, and, and the ugly. Um, and to kind of find a way in order to, for the two of us to sort of move beyond this without the opinions of other people uh, in the mix and factored in, without sort of judging or comparing what might develop between the two of us with sort of things that have happened in my own personal past where I gave my heart to the wrong person and, and it was trampled. Things fell apart. So there may have been something where they were kind of still hung up on disappointments or a disappointment very specifically in love in their past. And as much as, you know, they, they may have felt something for you emotionally, it's almost kind of the, um, the hooks, the energetic cords of attachment that that past person or that past experience had. Um, it feels like something that was a contributing factor to sort of what has fallen apart here. They may be aware of that on some level or just kind of making a concerted effort to try and shift into a new direction, try to bring some new energy into the situation. And they also say you are very beautiful and you have no reason to be jealous of my past loves. So again, some kind of hang up about romance in the past, somebody who broke their heart um, once upon a time, or maybe a lot of once upon a times that made them put up a wall, a self-protective barrier um, to preserve some degree of unblemished vulnerability within. You had the key to their heart um, and managed, it feels like, to, without meaning to and very quickly sort of get beyond those walls, get to the root of who they are, access them at a core level. And as much as that level of sort of feeling, understanding, um, proximity to vulnerability might have been very appealing for them, it feels like some wound or, or kind of the ego sort of kicked into high gear and um, sought to find reasons or create uh, sort of chaos if there were no sort of overt red flags that would logically kind of make them 
run from this situation. It's almost like they've created some element of chaos in order to create that buffer where they were safe within those fortress walls. Um, whether this is kind of like a short separation or something very long term, it feels like they've come to a place of loneliness within themselves. This route, this decision, this tendency um, within themselves, they've, they're understanding now this doesn't serve their highest good. Uh, distance from you is it's not making these feelings diminish over time. It is in fact just bringing up the acute factor that they chose the path of fear at the expense of kind of the offering of love. And so there is a motivation here to try and course correct. They also say, I'm working on myself. So even that element of kind of acknowledging their own shortcomings, recognizing how they let the opinions of other people sort of operate as a wedge or a barrier between the two of you or steer them away from the truth of their heart, um, wounds from past heartbreaks that had uh, interfered in the situation in terms of making them skeptical if what you were ha what you were offering, who you are as an individual, if this is something that was just a mask or a facade, or if you were the true and genuine article, it feels like doubts and questionings within got the better of this person and caused them to, uh, again, kind of take that route of fear, uh, take that road often traveled back into that fortress within the heart, yet you still represent kind of this wild unknown sense of liberation, the sense of like a beacon calling them beyond that wounding, beyond those patterns, beyond that comfort zone. Even if it amounts to them putting themselves out or coming back into your life only to, you know, be faced with kind of self-love that you've cultivated, healthy boundaries that you now have, not in a way that is kind of fearful and self-protective, but is in fact uh, empowered and self-loving. Um, sense A sense that they may have that kind of the bar has been raised. Um, you've taken steps. Maybe they're watching you on social media or, you know, kind of picking this up through third parties, uh, people you know in common, kind of hearing about you through the grapevine or something they're even just sensing energetically um, about a shift, about a glow up, about some kind of expansiveness within your energy. In some way, they're sensing, as much as you may still feel very torn apart or heartbroken, something has shifted. They're, they're trying to kind of gauge that in this situation, understanding that you're kind of your paths have diverged with one another, but your narrative arc is on the up and they're still, or they have still been kind of cycling around in that, in that same vibration that they were in. There's now an urge to kind of rise to the occasion and, and, and join you or, or meet you on this level where um, they're showing you a lot more honesty than had been the case in the past. And with that is kind of fighting this element of fear uh, within themselves, trying to find a way to kind of break through those fortress walls that they put around themselves. This experience, uh, this separation, even the most painful parts, it feels like it's been very educational for your person. It's been very eye-opening as far as how long they've been living in some degree of like emotional survival mode. And now there's this motivation to try something different, try moving in the direction or at least pointing the focus on the possibility of maybe I can thrive uh, in love and matters of the heart. They also say, have you already moved on? So confirmation right there of kind of sleuthing, spying, asking people about you, looking on your social media um, from fake profiles or, or kind of just a quiet observer, um, you know, in the audience. Maybe you have some um, kind of social media platform where you're putting content out there. They're definitely aware of that. They're they're watching that. This is kind of, um, and I'm hearing your biggest fan. So, so this can definitely be somebody that is kind of like silently applauding you and cheering you on. That might even be some element here where they've recognized a shift within you, within your focus, within your life, within your energy. And this has really kind of lit a fire within them to, to start to kind of introspect, to start to move and shift and grow and evolve ways in which they or other people in their in their life may have um, unfairly misjudged you. Um, kind of the little sort of um, voice of contention in their ear, uh, maybe even just kind of an internal monologues, you know, the, the kind of the voice of doubt and, and fear within that caused them to sort of um, question or lean into like a a vibration of skepticism about, um, you know, the two of you being able to kind of evolve and sustain whatever kind of 
spark of connectivity you had with one another in the past. Um, they looked at you f with almost kind of like a lens of jadedness before, and you've proven them wrong. You've proven other people wrong. Um, you've in some way excelled beyond what they thought was kind of possible or or what they what they even imagined kind of you were capable of who you are as a person it, it feels like something where you have them very much awestruck in a lot of ways um, and so this is kind of operating as again this sort of fuel or motivation for them to start to pick themselves up out of the situation that they are currently in to start to pick themselves up out of kind of patterns that are deeply entrenched or create distance between people that may have been very skeptical of of kind of what the two of you had or, or even a little bit envious or jealous of what the two of you had they're they're starting to sort of see through that see these people's true colors or really understand almost how they gave their power away to the opinions or the perception of opinions of other people. There may have been no one that outwardly sort of judged you or the situation, yet a part of them almost kind of fearing the, the emotions which are stirring up leaned into a place of kind of like, well, maybe we're just too different for this to work. Um, you know, maybe this is too good to be true. Maybe this is just destined to failure because every other romance has failed. It's like the litany of excuses that created a distance. Now they're kind of struggling to find a way back in from the cold. They also say you are more compassionate than I believe I deserve. So um, your kindness, your authenticity, your, your genuine and loving nature, this might have really been something in the past that almost kind of triggered them and brought about some kind of tendency or ingrained pattern um, you know, to almost kind of adopt this fear of missing out the grass being greener on the other side approach to life, which was just kind of a, a mask or a disguise for some deep element of lack or inadequacy within kind of the emotional realm. This could be somebody who is very used to compartmentalizing, stuffing, suppressing, and denying feelings in just in, in a general sense, um, and just kind of moving forward, always looking ahead, never looking within or behind. Um, and it feels like something that although they've tried to outrun this situation, outrun you, outrun kind of a, a pull within their heart and within their soul in your direction, um, they've been brought back to this to this reality that almost the decision made about this situation in the past was not in fact the high road it was the low road back into a familiar cycle and pattern where now there's loneliness now there's stagnation now there's discontent now there's the ability to see I at one point in time had the option of something better something different something of a higher caliber and vibration that I've been used to dealing with in my life and I chose to push that away I chose to let that go um, you know I chose to kind of close the door or never open the door to that and it's filled them with a sense of regret which it feels like is now kind of this push that they may have needed to break free from some sort of stuck energy within themselves they also say I want this so they're definitely motivated to um, do what it takes to present themselves um, no matter what it takes, no matter what you say, no matter what the response is. There, there's some kind of just need to present themselves, need to, to not leave things as they were left between the two of you, um, to try at least in, in some capacity to provide closure even. They may be sort of anticipating that you've done that for yourself, which it feels like has enhanced some perception of their ability to view you from a very positive lens. Even without an apology, you've managed to kind of put the pieces of your heart back together in a more constructive manner. So there's a lot of respect that they have for you a lot of admiration that they have for you, but also kind of the weightedness of guilt and shame over what's happened in the past has now kind of put this load upon them that they're unable to sort of alleviate simply by continuing to run. Denial, excuses, toxicity, this is not going to alleviate this. So there is this desire to move back towards you, to free themselves, to, to free you from kind of this element of 
not knowing, uh, maybe feeling and like, did I ever matter? Was any of this real? Did was this totally one-sided? Um, you know, why would this person kind of move towards me only to sort of run again? Um, unanswered questions, things they're anticipating, or maybe that were left um, unanswered. Maybe you've sent them messages before and they've never replied. They've definitely looked at these these messages now, or they looked at them at the time, even though there might not have been any response, and it's it's really sat with them. Um, they're ready and preparing themselves to sort of address these things. But with that comes a hopefulness as well that, um, you know, if you'll have this person, that perhaps the two of you can build um, in a better direction. But at the very, um, at the very least, there is this sort of urge to present you with some sort of an understanding and knowing that as much as Things may have fallen apart that at one point in time, and, and still, there, there, tr there is true and genuine love within them for you. They also say our fate is to create an unforgettable story. So this is not a situation of being out of sight, out of mind. This is definitely a person who uh, couldn't forget you if they if they tried. They may be giving a lot of signs and synchronicities, dreams, downloads, reminders. The universe just throwing this in their face, uh, letting them know that the time is now or is fast approaching to um, sort of take some sort of actions, take some sort of step in a way that is constructive. Um, to build beyond kind of the point of um, dismantling between the two of you, to, to remedy that uh, disharmony with the sense of truth and clarity um, so that peace of mind is given, whether you require that or accept that or um, whether that would even help matters for you in ways that you haven't been able to successfully help yourself with on your own. There's an understanding that on their part or a feeling on their part that, that I must present myself. So we can't we can't leave things like this. Um, there is a desire as well, though, to kind of write a new chapter with you, to progress forward with you, but an understanding that total honesty needs to kind of precede that. They can't just come back in and pretend like nothing has ever occurred um, and, and kind of pick up where you left off. There, there's this energy of needing to kind of clear the air, to, to be honest um, in a multifaceted kind of way and, and from that place to really just present themselves to you with open arms and an open heart, um, you know, to kind of have them and hold them and, and, and build and grow with them and move forward with them if that is something that is in accordance with kind of your vision and view of what the future looks like. Um, if you are satisfied with what they are presenting. This feels to be something where they may be kind of planning a unique, a special, a spectacular kind of re-emergence, like a dramatic re-emergence in your life, something that will really kind of get your attention, get your focus. Again, this is not somebody that feels like that's just going to pop up in your text message or your email or your DM with like, hey, how's it going? Um, it's it's something where there's more to it. They understand that it's they're going to have to go big or go home in this situation after everything that has happened. Um, and so it feels like they're kind of behind the scenes sort of looking, researching, analyzing, assessing, creating all these different nuanced layers of plans in order to present something towards you which brings forth the best possible odds of a productive outcome, uh, moving in the direction of love, rebuilding the situation between the two of you gradually and over time, uh, earning trust back in the situation, a sense of almost preparing themselves to, um, you know, maybe hear everything and hold space for everything, painful truths, heavy emotions that you've been holding within or, or that were the byproduct of what's happened between the two of you in the past. Um, they're sort of creating a place of patience within themselves so that they are not triggered by what they understand to be a very kind of healthy response to whatever's happened between the two of you that they anticipate will will inevitably kind of happen or, or maybe necessary. It could just be a fear. It might even be that you'd welcome them back with open arms um, if they would demonstrate kind of a willingness to try where they had kind of run in fear before, just sort of showing up that being enough to kind of take steps gradually um, beyond the point of where you're at with one another. But it's almost like they're planning for everything. Best case scenario, worst case scenario. Um, um, very much not happy in the in the element of 
more time passes and the and the chasm between the two of you continues to widen. There's a sense of I want to build, I want to move back in your direction. I want to try and salvage this. I want to breathe life back into this situation. And they also say, I cannot deny my love for you. So definitely somebody who is done running. They are done letting other people meddle in matters of the heart as far as they are concerned. Um, they are done letting their wounds and fears and insecurities of the past, um, you know, worst case scenarios that have happened in other kind of romantic situations in their life that they may have unfairly kind of held you accountable for. Um, a standard of somebody else who, who had kind of left them in tatters, um, sort of took advantage from, about, of the quality of their heart, the nature of who they are as a person. When you, when you met this individual, it might have been something where they were still dealing with a lot of that woundedness. They kind of shut down. They became very jaded, very guarded, very pessimistic and skeptical about love. You've cracked them open in some way. It feels that this triggered some sort of a response that caused them to undermine, run, push away, create chaos where there was none. And yet they keep coming back to the inevitable truth that the feelings that they had and have for you are deep and real, worth exploring, worth doing whatever it takes to try and resurrect, breathe life back into. Um, this may be something where time and space has given them the opportunity to really sort of sit and process and understand that what the two of you shared, even if it was just you know, a very kind of short-term connection with one another. It's the closest thing they've come to the feeling of what love should be like. That in and of itself might have very much intimidated them, brought up the sense of kind of like things that felt less intense, less deep, less potent than this, and how badly those hurt when things fell apart. An essence of if I give myself to this situation and we build and we grow and then it's all washed away how am i ever going to be able to pick the pieces up from that point and it feels like that wound is something that they're kind of working on they've addressed they've, they've recognized within themselves um, and they're taking steps to kind of course correct because there there is an interest there's a focus to not just be pulled back in your direction and in, in kind of a magnetic capacity but really take assertive steps to take the lead to step up to the plate where they may have really dropped the ball in the situation previously in order to win your heart back, to, to earn your love back, to prove that, um, you know, that they are, they are able, willing, and ready to um, kind of meet you on your level and, and grow in the direction of love rather than allowing this situation to continue to kind of um, stagnate and be stuck in, in the vibration of fear that at one point in time had, had undermined what the two of you had in the past. So I'm going to get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your person or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got Q, T, N, L, N, U, O E I V W G I W F B Z and D so those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. You chose the clear quartz. So I'm going to be getting three cards from three different decks and let's see what does your person want you to know right now from their higher self.
okay, and they say, I have a plan for us, but it will take some time. Can you be patient a little longer? So if this is somebody you're in no contact with, they may be strategizing their approach, their reemergence in your world, in your reality. They may have been working to free themselves from some karmic entanglements, um, things that may have to do with third parties, family, friends, or other romances, things having to do with um, addictions, patterns within themselves, financial struggles and issues, um, worldview, pessimism, uh, uh, jadedness, guardedness as far as matters of the heart, things that may have undermined the progress of your connection in the past, rather than sort of just waiting for more signs, telling themselves, I'll, I'll deal with this tomorrow. Maybe it's not the right time. It's, it's the essence of starting to take steps, starting to build from where they are, look around and address their reality. Um, and rather than kind of allowing obstacles or challenges between the two of you to be the deciding factor about forward momentum, there's a sense of I'll do what it takes in order to sort of chip away at these things which have uh, kept me at a distance from you in the past or, or are keeping me at a distance from you presently. If this is somebody that you're currently dealing with, currently getting to know or dating or seeing, um, they definitely are viewing the situation now with more long range potential. Um, wanting to build and grow with you and evolve this connection uh, towards something more stable and lasting, something that they may be planning as far as a gesture, a conversation, an action that instills trust within you, that they're in this for the long term, um, that kind of proves to you the depth and level of their affection. Rather than just empty words, this may be somebody whose love language is action. They're going to prove it. They're going to show it rather than kind of just fill the space between the two of you with um, words that do not touch um, strongly enough upon kind of the depth and nature of what they feel for you. They also say the distance between us will not keep us apart. So confirmation there of some obstacles and challenges that they may be dealing with. This could be emotional challenges where in order to let you in closer or to return to your life in some way, they're needing to kind of break the walls down around their heart, ways in which they might have run from the love you had to give in the past, hadn't given all of themselves, to you in the situation, um, kind of keeping people at a safe distance, emotionally speaking, and then here are these deep feelings um, for you that it feels like still exist that have been a struggle to come to terms with, to grapple with. Um, time and space has not eroded these things, and they've now reached this point of, I don't want to let this just be a regret. I don't want to let this situation slip through my fingers. Um, if this is somebody you're currently dealing with, again, it's the idea of, more long-range plans and intentions that they have towards you but a lot that they're kind of keeping to themselves about that at this particular point in time um, due to some kind of element within about knowing their own tendencies, knowing their own patterns, knowing kind of based on how they've gotten to know you sort of what it is that you need, what it is that you're looking for in terms of a long-term partnership, what you need in terms of romance to make you really feel special and unique that maybe you never got from another person before or they've never showed to you up to this point in time. So it's almost kind of keeping those plans to themselves in order to, again, demonstrate to you, um, moving in the direction of love and affection with me will yield kind of um, this demonstration, these declarations in a very profound manner um, as the evidence that, that when I say the words I love you, I mean it with everything that I am. And in order to kind of present this face of themselves to you, um, there's something that they're needing to kind of build up or work up the courage within themselves. Maybe there's even kind of a specific date, some kind of special date um, that they have planned, like an anniversary to kind of pop back in and reemerge, birthdays, holidays, things like that, that could be coming up that might be kind of um, in sort of the, the essence and the nature of, of this strategy to take things further um, or, or to try and re-spark some kind of reconciliation. And they also say, I'm sorry for all the things I've said and done that have caused you hurt and pain. 
So this is really relating to um, most specifically, it feels like the withholding um, of love, like not declaring their feelings, just kind of sitting on that, um, not taking or responding to cues that you had given them that maybe you're interested, you're wanting to develop things further. Um, and it's almost like they, they've chosen more of a stoic approach to this situation. There's a sense of that they have felt a lot more for you for a longer time than you're aware of. And and the time of this kind of masquerade where they just keep it all within, that's reached its conclusion or the breaking through those those kind of um, walls and barriers at this particular point in time in order to, again, even if like an apology is owed, if this is like a no contact situation, to be able to show to you that I, I mean what I say because I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm presenting this version of me to hopefully instill trust within you that to take a leap of faith, to take a chance on me, to allow me back in, to allow us to kind of grow and develop from this point in time, that there's more that's given in the past. It's a different version of them that is, is kind of stepping up to the plate in this situation. Um, to not just say, I'm sorry for what's happened, but to really just show I am no longer that same person in fundamental ways. And they also say, you fill my life with hope for the future and I am proud to have you by my side. So long range plans that this person is making, even if this is somebody, um, you know, from your past that you were dealing with, this can be the essence of them, them seeing you as the one that got away, um, that perfect match, that counterpart energy. They've not been able to have this same kind of feeling with anybody else. Even if they've not dated other people, it feels like they, they've gone back in their kind of, um, in their sort of roster of experiences uh, as far as matters of the heart are concerned. And, and it's, it's kind of with each sort of past person that they're, they're kind of comparing what they've shared with you or what they felt inside for you compared to what it was like with these other people. Even it feels like even sort of the individual that they may have considered the love of their life, kind of uh, the person that they had on the pedestal in some sort of way, um, this situation with you kind of exceeds all of that. These feelings for you go far beyond um, that element of, of experience. And this is drawing them back to this place of this is rare. This is unique. This endures. This is something I want more of. This is a vibration that to invite this in, to cultivate this, um, to lean into this polarity, into this kind of um, frame of experience serves the highest good. It, it feeds the heart. It heals the heart rather than keeping uh, kind of the heart in, in this space of longing and yearning and, and echo and, and kind of emptiness. So you feel you fulfill them on multiple uh, on multiple levels. You check off all of the boxes for them. You really are the person that they have been looking for their whole life, um, and so it feels like they're in the process of sort of making that very clear to you in order to try and rebuild the situation. Or if you're still um, in contact with one another, you're dealing with one another presently. There's an essence here of almost. I want to take this a step further. I want to do what it takes in a very kind of practical and yet deeply emotional sense to ensure you know just how much you matter to me uh, because I see you as part of that long-term future. And we may not be at that place of kind of linking our lives together just yet in that very um, concrete fashion, but I want to make it clear that that's the direction I intend to head with you. They also say you are truly unforgettable. So again, confirmation of time and space has not diminished the feelings that they have for you. Um, they may be getting a lot of signs, synchronicities, reminders, things in dreams that are bringing their attention to um, you, to what the two of you have had in the past, uh, with a desire to kind of move toward rekindling, re-sparking, a rebirth of that bond and situation. This can also really relate to somebody that you're dealing with presently and kind of the experiences that they have with you, conversations that they have, time spent together. This is food for thought in a very constructive manner. Um, it's something that kind of the more they immerse themselves in the experience of you, the more that they be, reach this place of certainty of 
you are the person that I want to cultivate something with. You are the person that I want to build with. You fit and fulfill me on all of these different levels that I have not been able to experience in kind of other connections and other partnerships. It's almost like you hold a lot of qualities that they didn't even know that they were looking for. And so it's led to a degree of almost this needs to be kind of planned and, and dealt with very delicately because there's a lot on the line here. There, there's a lot of kind of gravity and weight surrounding the nature of their feelings and the desire to, to kind of create that into something in a material sense that endures, that is lasting, that flourishes and is bountiful in a long-term sense. They also say, I can feel your love all around me. So a deep soul connection between you and your person. Uh, you may be very empathically tied to one another, connected to one another um, through energy where they're able to really anticipate, feel your feelings and moods right alongside you. Um, the level and layer of even kind of feeling you so intimately sort of in their space, in their energy, um, even just the words that, you, that you've that you said or, or, or experiences, encounters that they've had and the feelings that have kind of surged and, and have risen, it feels like it's changing a lot for this person energetically. It's changing things on the internal landscape. It's changing the way they look at love and partnerships. This may be something where they're almost kind of needing to take some time to play detective, um, to really kind of look into the nature of energy, soul connection, soulmates, twin flames, all of that spirituality. You may have really cracked the door open for them to sort of venture down a path they wouldn't have otherwise walked or, or wandered, perhaps. Even if they're a spiritual person, this feels to be something that this experience with you is starting to provide concrete reality and an evidence-based understanding of what had previously just been concepts or definitions. As much as they may have thought they understood the nature of energy, empathy, soul connection, soulmate, twin flame, experiencing it in, in real time within themselves, between the two of you, this has really hit home in a way that all the, you know, articles and the blogs and the memes and the videos and, and just whatever else they may have kind of come upon, um, th that is almost just, it's flimsy in compared to what uh, the experience with you might be or, or might have been or really has opened their eyes to in some manner. And so it's an energy of sort of this is uncharted waters, um, strategies, tactics, approaches used in matters of the heart before with you previously, or or even just kind of romance as a general in a general sort of sense. Um, that those rules don't apply to this situation, and so it's the sense of kind of just feeling their way through this unknown territory, um, knowing for certain they don't want to continue to kind of run or be very evasive or hold themselves back, but also understanding that um, what they're kind of dealing with here, it's, it's next level within themselves. So steps that are taken forward need to be kind of planned very carefully, um, come with the understanding that the more the bond deepens, the more there is this expansiveness energetically. So it's almost like they're taking, as much as you may not have had these discussions openly with one another, they're almost anticipating and taking into account as overwhelmed as they may feel by these experiences and this sort of energetic bond at times. Um, they're assuming you are experiencing something similar or that it might be kind of overwhelming for you. And it's a sense of, I don't want to contribute more chaos to your life and your world into your reality. So as much as I want to just sort of pour myself into you, I'm taking a measured approach um, so that we can kind of rise in a very mutual, mutually beneficial way uh, beyond kind of the, the borders, the barriers, the definitions of, of your dynamic currently into something more. And they also say, I started to fear how much I felt I needed you. 
So they could have been triggered by a sense of, is this too good to be true? Is this real? Is this just fantasy-based thinking? Um, am I just putting all of my eggs in one basket and, and kind of being a fool for love, letting the heart kind of lead me astray? Maybe that's been the case for them in their romantic past. Um, but there's a sense of definitely a triggering which has taken place that's caused them to run, although the time and space has been very educational. It's been an opportunity for them to kind of just sit in and digest more of the experience, um, kind of plan and see things from a comfortable distance. This can also tie into somebody that you're still dealing with, uh, currently dealing with, and kind of readying themselves to have some sort of big conversation or to try and um, broaden the connection between the two of you into, into something more to start to direct those attentions toward future planning. But then there's also this triggered element of I want to get this conversation right. I want to make sure that I'm ready, that you're ready, because whatever is said, once those words are spoken, they can't be taken back. Um, and so they're putting a lot of priority upon that, sort of getting all those details just right. And they also say, I want to protect you from my scars. So this can definitely be the energy of someone who has a lot of fear of vulnerability, um, may have had some occurrences in past romances where it wasn't their finest hour, um, things that they need to kind of confess or discuss with you in order for you to truly understand who they are, or, or rather, who they have been at various points in their in their life um, that may not be reflective of kind of the person that they are currently, but is nevertheless an essential element as they're seeing it as as kind of their their backstory, um, so that you have the most information available to you to make an educated decision. Is this someone I want to progress with or are we not aligned in terms of who we are as individuals and kind of, uh, you know, what you're looking for in, in terms of a partner in a long-term sense? This can also really tie into the idea of, um, you know, someone you're dealing with currently kind of holding themselves back or restraining themselves from, um, you know, expressing some kind of truth, some sort of, um, expression of affection or, or opening the lines of discussion to sort of say where are we going from this point on um, because they're needing to kind of check in with themselves and and really say what are my motivations what are my what are my intentions here can I deliver upon the promises made in a very practical sense this is someone who doesn't want to play with your heart they don't want to play with your emotions um, they really want to give and provide you total transparency, uh, a version of them that is kind of exposed and vulnerable. Um, and in this way, from this approach, it feels like it unwrites some kind of program within themselves, or they may have kind of in a self-protective way kept a lot hidden. Um, this could be somebody who has kind of historically or customarily, customarily um, in terms of love and life, just many different types of relationships sort of fallen into this pattern of people-pleasing, giving more than they're receiving, um, contorting themselves, chameleoning into a version of them that they have felt or that has been made clear other people expect um, and with you there's the essence of almost I can be my true self or I want to show you who I truly am uh, but in order to kind of do that I need to sort of take some time to figure out how to do this what's the right approach Am I ready to, to truly be that exposed and vulnerable, um, feeling very much they want to take a leap of faith towards something more or back in your direction, but at the same point in time, some kind of personal truth that they hold within, they may question if this is too much for you. Um, can you handle this, this part of me? And it feels like they're very accustomed to sort of going through life or going through interpersonal relationships with a, a significant part of themselves walled off and hidden. Um, people that have kind of been in their life long term may not even know about kind of this quality or aspect within. Maybe it's, um, you know, kind of like a, a deep fear of abandonment or, or some kind of wound within, some something where they present a very kind of like, um, confident or tough exterior, but inside there's there's a there's a deep well of emotions, um, a lot of wounded inner child kind of energy here, and there's a sense of feeling 
my heart is safe with you in some way, opening up and, and, and leading with the energy of total transparency in this situation with you feels like a formula to kind of give this connection, the rebirth or, or the expansion of this connection, the best possible odds for th success and, and for thriving, and in some way to also open themselves up in this way allows them to receive the medicine that the exchange of love between the two of you the blossoming of love the you know the affection as it is it is experienced between the two of you to allow that into kind of these wounds and these scars and these cracks within themselves to provide that essential healing that just sort of hiding these parts of themselves away has been unsuccessful in accomplishing up to this point in time they also say your touch ignites a sun within me. Um, so they feel very empowered in your presence and in the idea of transforming the situation into something more, whether that is a reconnection, a resurgence, a reemergence of this person from your, from your past, or even just kind of building and expanding beyond your sort of current uh, definition and, and the nature of your dynamic with one another. Uh, that solar energy, that's masculine energy, um, gender aside, it's, it's just kind of like action oriented rather than sort of a passive approach. Rather than the observer, this is, this is taking that first step so they're readying themselves they're they're building up that kind of initiative to spring forth into your life present that truth re-emerge from the past with the energy of confidence and and providing some degree of illumination that is not customarily done in matters of the heart for them um, or was not the case between the two of you previously but it's a sense of almost to free the two of you from whatever has happened it's going to require this level of everything's out on the table in order to really build in a direction that is is more positive that moves in the direction of joy and and brings less of that kind of baggage of sorrow and they also say you are a work of art so they are very fond of you very much in awe of you very much looking to um, create something beautiful with you create a future with you create a family with you create a different kind of love story than what either of you has experienced in your life up to this point in time. So even if this person is distant um, or you're in a separation, no contact, and they're kind of watching from the shadows, they're not wanting to stay in this passive energy. Um, they're wanting to bring something, to contribute something. They're seeing you as somebody who is very kind of radiant, very self-reliant in your own energy, very self-sustaining, understanding that at this point in your life, after everything that's happened with this person or just who you are, if this is someone, um, you know, that you're you're still actively involved with this at this point in time, what they've come to understand about you is sort of, um, you know, they, they need to, to bring their best foot forward they need to kind of um you know bring you authenticity they they need to kind of bring something that is next level from what is typically how they show up in partnerships um, in order to kind of create and grow something that um you know is is kind of magnificent in all the ways that the two of you need it to be in order for this love story as it unfolds or it is, as it is kind of regenerated um to really kind of make up for all the instances in both of your lives where um, love was lacking or, or love left a sense of dissatisfaction, left more wounds than it did healing. This is, this is the energy of this person wanting to really kind of be that co-creator with you of, of a different type of experience of what love can be. So I'm going to get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your person, or could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got M, C, D, F, E, L, W, W, H, Q, G, E, B, N, P, U, A, 
V, and C. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.